since it's a boxing night tonight, this, this time I think we're gonna have a we have to have something for the ladies. We all know the records always say we gotta have something for the ladies. So tonight we have another boxer tonight. On a, on a lady, a woman boxer tonight. We have a lady Killer Mel, another one out of BK. Killer Mel, can we bring Killer Mel to the studio? Something in that book of war. Hey, hey. Killer Mel. Killer Mel on these streets. Bang, okay. bang, 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 bang. <laughs> What's up, Mel? How you doing no today, biscuit. sister? I'm good. <laughs> and she's a North, you, Killer Mel, you're the type of the North American uh, boxing champion, right? Yes, yes, yes. And they be yeah. So, Mel, Mel, so, I mean, what made you get into boxing? You're a pretty young lady and everything like that. You know, some people like, oh, pretty don't mean nothing, but. What made you get into boxing? Oh, I mean, I grew up in a a violent house, a household. <laughs> oh, so you had to you had you had to fight your way to the kitchen. <laughs> Got to get man, the fight to the meal. Man, yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> like I uh, fight for that last biscuit, boy. You know what I mean? <laughs> and then, so then house- she started giving out two pieces of the biscuit. There you go. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what she started no. doing. Mel, how long you how long you been fighting professional now? Oh man, uh, since two thousand and five, I want to say. I have my pro debut. Yeah, I think no, two thousand seven. I think. So how I'm was not it, sure. How was it was it early. Before? It was early, but like it's different when you like before, like you sparring and you fighting your sisters or your brothers and stuff like that. How was it when you first like step in the ring? What the butterflies are there? It, what what are you thinking? Yeah, I, I'm. I'm be like, dang, what did I sign up for? <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, because before boxing, you know, I always got into fights. You know, so that's different. You know, somebody walk up mm-hmm. on you, you already like, you know what? You about to, you about to get hurt right now. But you mm-hmm. know, to beat the ring and, and get your mind to a place like, bitch, I'm about to fuck you up. You know, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> You know, as time went, you know, when I hear that bell ring, I know what time it is, but you know, sometimes I'd be like, damn, what am I mm. doing? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna ask a question, and this is probably a double standard. Do men have a hard time approaching you when they know, um, first of all, that you could uh, beat them down? And secondly, guys <laughs> want to feel like, from an ego standpoint, that they can be a protector. Like if you went out with a guy, the reality of it is you're more skilled to protect him than he is to protect you. Is it ever uh, an issue with that? First of all, they never guess it. All right, um, they always ask, you know, uh, do you know, do I um, play basketball? Do I do gymnastics? Do I run track? Yes, I did. Used to run track, two-time All-American, 400 meter right. hurdles, 100 meter all hurdles. Right. <laughs> they never ask boxing. So you know. Um, when I tell them, like, no, I fight, then that's when it's like, oh, shit, like, you ain't gonna hurt me or whatever, like. <laughs> uh-huh. this, this is the hypocritical thing. I'm sorry to, to ask another question, but this is hypocritical on my part, and I have to, I have to apologize in advance for this, because I hope this doesn't sound foul. When I heard that you were coming on the show, and I started to research, I go online, I'm thinking you're gonna look like Precious, right? And then I go online, <laughs> and I, I go online because you think, we want to, in our mind, think, that we don't want to see beautiful women get hit, and that's foul. So I just want to say that to everybody out there because we all matter. But <laughs> at the end of the day, I look online, and you 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 can model like like people will, when after this interview they go online and they'll see you. Um, is it really really unfair when people see that? Like V said, if you're pretty or you're attractive, and then uh, you are a boxer, do people kind of uh, maybe take you for granted and think they can get in the ring and they won't get served up or? Uh, what does it mean to to be attractive and still be in the arts? Oh yeah, people definitely do. Like for instance, going back to my pro debut before when you um when you Google my name, all you see was track and field. So you know people slept like you know my opponent. I remember she was like, oh you know she just run track. This is gonna be an easy win. Yeah okay. So <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I always tell you know females you can still be a lady. You know, be a lady outside the ring. We get in the ring, handle your business. You know, a lot of people feel like, you know, a girl when she she box, she supposed to look all dykish and stuff. No, still carry yourself like a lady. Do your handle your business in the ring. When you come out, you know, go ahead, hook your hair up, put your heels on. You're still a lady at the end of the day. But man, you're the only woman yeah. I know that can twerk and then throw a hook. 
<laughs> you see, you see, mail train, mail train, mail train, different. Mail train. I'll be up there twerk, and then she go throwing jabs and hooks and stuff like that. And I'm like, yo, man, how do you do this, man? This is great. You, 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 you need your unicorn. Fun. I, yes, I am a unicorn, but you know they. I love what I do, and you got whatever. When you love something, you gotta enjoy it and make it fun. You know, every day we go to the gym, and you know I'm practicing my craft. You know, going back to the basics, my jab, my hooks. Why not make it fun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah, true. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Get through that's the true. training session by any means yeah, necessary, yeah. right? If you look for yeah. boxing, you do the same thing over every day. You know what I'm saying? Come to the gym. We work on that slip. Make it fun. You're working on the combinations. Make it fun. You know, so it doesn't be like, oh, uh, you know, you get bored. So, you know, and I tell a person, if I'm going to the gym, we working on stuff, I'm going to make it fun. I'm yeah, still going to yeah. put the work in. But, you know, yeah. I'm going to add a little six, 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 that, 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 you know? <laughs> <laughs> you got any but, fights coming up now? I mean, right now, uh, my manager said, let's wait till next year with this whole COVID thing. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm looking to mix it up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm thinking about going to the bare knuckle side. What? Get out of here. Now, that's interesting. No, they got bare, they got bare knuckle boxing now. Yeah, what? that's yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I didn't yeah. know that. Wow. You yeah, know, Clarissa Shields uh, was going into uh, MMA, as I understood. She's thinking about playing around with MMA. Is that something that you might be interested in? Or Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> Mel said, let's keep, this, let's keep this fight standing up, right? Exactly. <laughs> sure. You know, I want to you know, with you. I wanna keep it on my feet, you know. Okay. Uh, much respect to everybody that want to cross over the MMA, you know. Um, and nah, nah, it ain't for me. <laughs> there you go. Now, who are some of who are, who are some of your boxing heroes? My boxing, well, of course, Mike Tyson. <laughs> um, uh, heroes. I would say him because everything that he been through and everything and all this other stuff. We we have like similar. Similar story, so I I could you know relate to Mike Tyson, so I look at him like as a hero. You know, I, I remember at one time when um Layla Ali was fighting, and it got a lot of publicity, obviously because of her name and and her skill set. Do you think that they need to do more to advance women's boxing? It seems like it doesn't get its fair due, or um or is that accurate? You know, speaking of Layla Ali, I feel like the platform that she had, I feel like she could have definitely did a lot for women's boxing and she didn't did nothing. So, you know. Uh oh, um, we got a challenge here. Here it go. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Here we you go. Can yeah. the real. You, you can interview any other team of uh, boxers that say the same thing. The platform that she had, you know, in this whole in her whole boxing journey, she could have did something like for women's boxing. You know, if you had a platform and you up there, why don't you lend out your hand? To, you know, to the other women and lift them up so we can keep this growing, you know, but she, she mm. didn't, so. Wow. Wow. Yeah, you, you don't even see an interview. She don't come anywhere, right? She, I don't, I don't I think even she see does, her talking I think about. she does, like, commentating on, like, some some shows or something like that. Doesn't she, like, like that ninja show or something? Does she do commentating or something like that? I mean, that's not boxing. No, she doesn't do anything about it. No, I'm just saying she's working, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. She's wrong. Right. I mean, she's working. She's working. She got a job. That, you know, I like what she's doing. You know, she has, she's doing her home decoration thing. She's doing her cooking thing. She got her cookbook. And, and that's all good, you know. But, you know, she was also part of women's boxing. And she does know the struggles and everything. And I feel like, you know, instead of her trying to pick a fight with Carissa and talking down on her, why not help your sister? You know what I'm saying? Imagine having yeah. Layla Ali and then you, you lift up Carissa Shields on a platform. Imagine what both of them can do to uplift woman's boxing and bring it to a whole nother platform you know what i'm saying yeah. but yeah. you know she couldn't even do that you know she want to sit here and fight with a younger girl like oh i'm the go i'm the go how about you know trying to help that's what that's what your father would have did muhammad ali he was about helping his brothers you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. yeah yeah yeah, very true. Yeah, very true. Yeah. Now, now let me ask very you a question. When you yeah. when you are on a fight day, when you're on after you've trained and everything like that, what is it like that day? Because I understand you don't, you know, a fight doesn't do much. You have to relax and calm down. How does that work that day when you're when you wake up on fight day? What is what is your procedure? Oh man, I just try to just stay relaxed and um just you know the the thing for me is just to stay relaxed and 
Like, you know, you know what time it is. It's time to go to work. You know, I just try to keep myself uh, calm and just, you know, watch uh, funny TV shows while I'm in a hotel room before it's time to go to the venue and, you know, and just be in a happy place. Because that's what I perform better when I'm, you know, less stressed. You know, when I'm nice and relaxed, I perform good. I just try to stay as calm and just think about, you know, stuff that, you know, that make me laugh until it's time to go in the ring and destroy my father. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mel, now, what's Mel. your toughest fight? What's your toughest yeah. fight, Mel? Who was your toughest fight? Oh, man, my toughest fight was, uh, what's her name? Kathy Wilson in China. Oh, okay. my God. Yo, my coach had to talk to my school. i would never forget it. The first round... Man, this girl hit me with a jab, man. My neck, my neck did a movement like I was an ostrich. My whole shit just went like woof. <laughs> <laughs> my coach, the first round passed. My coach was like, look, he said, look, she's trying to come get your belt. You better wake the F up. I was up. After that, man, it was like uh my coach was playing a video game and I was doing everything, all the moves. I, man, but she was good, man. And, yeah. and like Zach was saying earlier, she was from she from Texas. She's originally from the Dominican Republic, but she was trained in Texas. This mm. girl right here was was moving like a man, her angles, everything. She was long, tall. Man, she she did she was definitely my toughest fight. Okay. Wow. okay. Hey, can you tell people how how was the next like the day after the fight? How did how was your body? What what do you have to go through after that? What What is your body like? How do you feel the day after a fight? How do you recover? In other words, yeah, how do you recover? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, oh, I go get some caramel cone ice cream, and <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I go get some soul food, and and I just relax. You can eat again, I, I, yeah. I, I, <laughs> but yeah, definitely uh, recover with some food and ice. Mm. So you take a lot of ice baths? Hell no. I ain't getting no ice. Know, usually I get a little nicks over around here. I get, you know, a little swollen like around here. So uh, I get like a little ice pack. That's it. I'm not getting nobody's uh, cold ice tub. Wow. Oh, she was going to say ice was for the drink, man. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, <laughs> now, now, let me ask you, when, when, when the fighting game is over, what do you want to do next? Are you going to uh, do commentary? What do you want to do after this? Where does this go after your fighting day is over? You know what? I really would like to go walk in the footsteps of Eunice Kennedy. You know, she was the founder of the Special Olympics because, you know, um, you guys see my video. Of, you know, I work with Kaylee. She has autism. I want to do something with the Special Olympics because I, I feel like these kids are so special, man. And I feel like the world don't really pay attention to them because they're special needs. And yeah. these kids are amazing. So after boxing, I would like to, you know, do something with the Special Olympics. That's beautiful. Oh, that's that's yeah. awesome. Mel, Mel awesome. does great. Mel does a lot. She trains with a, a young lady that has autism, and as everyone knows my son has autism. That's how kind of like me and Mel connected through that through that whole autism thing. So like you know, salute to you, all time queen, for doing that, for always standing up and showing them that. They, they, they have a, they have a champion that will always represent them all the time. I really appreciate that's, 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 that's beautiful. That's, that's beautiful. beautiful. Well, I I am a person who who can't box, but I need to be able to handle <laughs> mine when I deal with Ray Ray and Pookie, the natives. <laughs> and, you know, if I want to start, I just want to be able to handle that. So how do I start? Because I know it's a lot different than obviously boxing than fighting. You know, what I mean, I know it's different and. Um, I, I think the worst box in the world will hurt somebody in the street. Is that is that fair? Oh yeah, I mean, you see what happened to Nate. You see that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying that that YouTuber guy can't fight. And look, and you you see what happened is true. The ones who can't fight, they dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you and I were talking about this, uh, Mel, about um, like Nate came in there. His his strategy was all street. He might have been knocking out dudes in Seattle. But he really to have somebody with a skill set is a total different animal. And like yeah. we was talking, like what did he do wrong besides just walking in the ring? That was the first thing he did wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do wrong after that? Who, who, who trained him? Who trained him? Who told him like, hey, you can go here and get into this fight? Like he got no. He like Zap said, you don't play boxing. You know what I'm saying? And uh, 
the first thing they did was wrong. Whoever trained them should have been fired. <laughs> um, <laughs> when he got into the ring, when he seen this train coming towards him, he, he just stood there. Anytime yeah, yeah. You, you know, you know how, uh, how us people are. If we see something coming towards us, what we going to do? Yeah, get out the way. Get out the way. Get out the way. He's right there. Right. The thing, what I noticed, what I noticed that Nate kept doing is, I think he thought he was in a swimming pool. That's why he kept diving head first. You know what I'm saying? He he, he came right into the punches, man. Yeah, he kept charging. The guy just after this first round, the second round, they figured it out, and they said, "Yo, if he keeps charging in, take a step back and just land a punch." Yep, that's all. That was it. That's all they had to do. You know, it was over. Yeah. And it was um melatonin time. <laughs> now, are fighters are fighters born? Or fight are fighters born? Or is it something that you just really? Yeah, I know people can train, but you may not be able to teach. It's just in you, or it's not. Is it? Is that how it works? The, I think the mental has to be in you. Yeah, You're born with the mental. Yeah. Okay. I think you have to have that yeah, mentality. Yeah, the, the mental, and then I, I, you know, I do think there's some fighters that are born. You know, like for instance, what separates me from all these other female fighters. Is that I fought real opponents. A lot of these girls I hear are walking around like, oh yeah, I'm this and I'm that. But you you know, a lot of these girls fought crackheads. You know what I'm saying? Everybody <laughs> 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 look good. You look good with a crackhead, you look good with the UPS lady, the male lady. You know? yeah. <laughs> but when you but the test is when you go in there with somebody, a real fighter, and you can go with them toe to toe or whatever. That shows that you are a real born fighter, you know. And yeah. so I remember Coach telling me years ago, he said, "When you look at somebody's uh record, don't look at the people they fought because you right. can have an undefeated record and you or fought tomato cans, oh, right? Exactly. Yep. And a lot yep. of the and a lot and you know um uh, the guys and the girls, a lot of them have these made up records, you know. Mm, and yeah. and yeah. when they get yeah. in there with real fighter, they look like Nate." <laughs> yeah. right. so you you think you think a lot of boxers now handpick their own? <clears throat> oh hell yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. She said hell yeah. So basically it's yeah. about just it's about padding your record mostly now. Mm-hmm. For a lot of people, oh, yeah. a, lot of a, a lot of these boxes are definitely cherry picking, and they, you know, uh, it's just it's just crazy, man. It's just crazy. A lot of these fighters out here cherry picking, and they out here talking about all oh, they the best and all this other stuff. When you look at those records, man, and you look you look at it like that, you just fought with somebody with twenty losses. Like, yeah, uh-huh. how do you feel good about that? Yeah, yeah you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Right. So that's yeah. what happens when we first start off. You know, a lot of times they bring those fighters up slow. You know, and they beat mm-hmm. them. You know, they, they mm-hmm. fight. They fight Glass Joe. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. exactly. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Mel, Mel, listen. This is so great that you came on. Truly appreciated. Like getting a woman's perspective on fighting is something different. It feels yeah. so good, sister. I love you so much. Where can people find you at? How they follow you on Instagram and all? And let us know when anytime you're doing something with autism. You know, just hit me up. I'm there. I'm there. Yes, 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 <laughs> definitely. Okay. Um, my Instagram is killer underscore mail. My Twitter is at Melissa St. Girl. My Facebook is Melissa X St. Girl. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go get them. Yo, hopefully, hopefully we can see you fighting soon. Hopefully COVID somewhere. Oh, yeah. that's <laughs> We can see you know, fight somewhere you know, soon. Let you know. I'm gonna definitely keep you posted. I'll be there. Yeah, but we'll be there. And all of all of us chopping out fans, we're gonna be there for you, rooting you on, sister. All right. All right Love you, Mel. Go get them, champ. All, all right, right now. Take care. Right. Take care. Peace, sister. Peace. Peace.